Hello everybody and welcome. Here am I in Connecticut here with Guy Wolf in his pottery. And I can tell you I'm learning a thing or two. Hey, let's join us on the wheelhead here and Guy is just about to make a 25 pounder is it Guy? 25 pounds. I just put one of these little bats on the wheelhead. They're a little older so I put a little bit of wet clay on it just to help the piece of clay stick. Oh okay. And I have two from one of these slugs of 25 pounds, I have two pieces of clay. Oops. Sorry. I'm going to use this part of my arm instead of, you know, with a smaller piece of clay, students usually use their wrists. And it's very important when you're working bigger to um, not hurt your body. Sure, yeah. So you let your... You let your... Uh, is that quite soft, that clay? It's, um, it's pretty soft. There's a little bit of a... Um, it's new from the uh, my friends up at Amherst Pottery. Uh, it's pretty new clay. So So you're putting two lumps together there, I see. Yeah, this is 25 pounds. Each one is 12. Right. So, and I'm just making sure that the clay is um, happy. You know, when you go running, you stretch before you go running. Yeah, yeah. So it's the same idea here. The uh, opening that I like to do uh, came from a visit to some really great potters in Portugal. And uh, it's just uh, going down with two thumbs. I've seen um, George Curtis open like this as well at Little Thorpe in Berkshire. So I'm, I'm down at the wheelhead and Instead of trying to move clay around, the cool thing to do is to grab up about a quarter of an inch from the bottom and cut. And you're literally cutting the floor of the pot without trying to move any of this clay. It's, it's a wonderful trick because uh, you can you know, get, get into the architectural place you need to be for making the lift about three times faster. Um, the English lift for a, a bigger pot like this is to start with a left hand lift, which is pushing with the left hand on the outside and compressing the rim as you come up. This is just a compression move. It makes the clay very happy when you get to the next stuff. Uh, as I said in some of my videos, uh, students are very good at motion, they're not so great at compression. So closing down, giving this a compression before you do your next move is kind of a big deal. Okay, so this is when it starts getting to be fun. I'm going to be pushing in at about this height, and I'm going to be pushing out at about this height, and leaving mm -hmm. about four inches of space for the material to actually move. That's important, isn't it? Yeah. It makes material move much, 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 much faster. We may be running out of battery on this video clip, uh -oh. but never mind, we'll continue anyway. Until it dies. <laughs> Until it dies. And uh, so, folks, if we cut short, and then I have to find a. Uh, we'll use my camera. We'll use. Wolf's camera. Isn't that magical to see the clay lifting up like that? Now I notice you're leaving quite a good solid rim on the top there. Yes, architecturally the, the heavy rim is what holds the pot when you're moving it around later. Sure. Um, this is we're getting pretty close to the last lift before the rib. I'm just making sure that I have all the material from the bottom third in the wall. Okay, so now the rib to the potter is basically what the violin bow is for uh, the fiddle player. It amplifies what you're asking the material to do. So I'm going to be doing basically the same kind of lift. I'm lifting as if I'm holding an arch, but I'm holding the clay 
pushing out a little bit above the rib or towards the top of the rib, which is a power move. It makes the clay move quickly. And it also compresses the line. So this is why when you look at antique pottery, you see sort of a compressed architectural line. It's because they're actually moving clay with the rib. I think we're there. This is going to be the last one. And at the end of this, I'm just going to add a line to show the transition of the pot from a arch to a dome. I just want to make sure that there's a nice bellied out pot for the bottom third of this, because that's plant matter like that. That's pretty much it, no? That's it. Hey. <laughs> pretty impressive, impressive stuff, wouldn't you say? <laughs> I would. Oh, we're we're going to have Simon doing this in half a day. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I have been doing a few efforts, haven't I? Let's have a look. They're really good. Well, they're coming on, they're coming on, they're coming on. As the Italian potter that started me, you're a fish to water. They're just great. You think they'll, they'll pass? Oh, yeah. Good. Hey, folks. Along with Guy and me. We've all got to keep practicing. Hang on in there. See you in the next clip.